Welcome to the new mix. Thanks so much for being with us today. We are here on a Tuesday and we're live in our studios here in Harrison, Arkansas. And it is February the 18th and we are coming to you live at straight up 12 o'clock. And thanks so much for being with us. Now a lot of people maybe watch the show in the afternoon at 5.30 and we're coming to you at 5.30 then. Thanks so much for being with us. We've got a great show for you. Got a lot of information to, uh, to um, pass along to you. And, um, you know, what is amazing to me that, uh, that, that when we do our weather forecast, and we'll do the weather in just a, just a few seconds here. Yesterday, I read the forecast, and it talked about rain today. Now, on the forecast, there is absolutely no chance of rain here in our area. Zip, not at all, not even 1% chance of rain. And as soon as I read this to you, it's going to rain this afternoon, possibly. So... Uh, I don't think I've ever had the weather be so unpredictable uh, in, as far as I can remember, uh, on, on such, um, oh, I guess uh, uh, uneventful days. I mean, the, the weather should be more predictable, but uh, the forecast that we've been, we've been getting here uh, in the last three or four weeks during, this, during all this ice and snow, it's just been absolutely unpredictable. And I try to follow the weather because I do this weather every day, and and uh, I try to, to get a sense of of uh, you know what it, where it's going from day to day. But it's absolutely astounding to me that it changes from a 24-hour period to not even that much to an 18-hour period. So, uh, with that said, let's let's take a look at our weather. <laughs> it's it's beautiful outside, you know, and the 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 thing that is very. Um, uh, that, that's in a rare commodity right now is snow. If you look real hard, if you drive around town, you'll be able to see little chunks of snow still trying to melt. And uh, as a project, if you'd like, send us those photos of little chunks of ice. If you're driving around town, have your cell phone, take a shot and send it to us. Um, you can put it on our Facebook page if you'd like. You can put it on my personal Facebook page if you're interested in doing that at Dan Reynolds. Um, and my picture should pop up when you type in that name. Or you can uh, go to The New Mix, The New Mix on Facebook. Facebook slash The New Mix and post a picture of a chunk of ice. And we'll feature that uh, the rest of this week if we get any of those. I know they're hard to get sometimes, but if you're out driving around. Uh, or any photo that you have find of interest. We'd sure love to pass that along to our viewers. We'd be glad to pass that along. So let's take a look out our virtual window here. We are, wind is still a little brisk out there today, but it is sunny and it's going to be in the 60s today. Can you believe that? Let's take a look at um, some of the uh, temperatures in and around there. Jasper, Arkansas at 57, uh, Branson 55, Gainesville 57, uh, Marshall 59, uh, Eureka Springs at 58 already, Mountain View 60 degrees, Salem 60 degrees, uh, Mountain Home 57, and Harrison 57. And we're going to go ahead and look at our current conditions uh, for the forecast for going to be coming up uh, today and tomorrow. Like I said, it's going to be high today around 65, mostly sunny. It's not even going to be mostly sunny. It's going to be sunny. Uh, and that means there are going to be very few clouds that uh, try to obscure the view of the sun down on the earth. And uh, it's going to be nice tonight. Also, uh, 37 degrees for an overnight low. And then as the uh, temperature continues on through the week, we've got 62 for the high on Wednesday. And then there's a 40% chance of rain. And whatever, we'll hold, cross our fingers or we'll uh, say it's going to happen. Or maybe it'll change uh, to no percent at all for Thursday. But right now it says it's going to be raining. Thursday, 40% chance of rain. Friday, 57. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, all up in the 50s except for Monday, and it looks like it's going to be in the in the low 50s or high 40s. Uh, and we will uh, uh, over the nights, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, have a chance of freezing again. So uh, that temperature is going to be going up and down as we move on into closer to springtime. Let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about this day in history and uh, some other cool events that are happening this week and uh, some things that you may want to plan your weekend for. Stick around, stay with us, you're watching The Noon Mix. Wow. 
Welcome back to the new mix. I'm going to tell the director we're going to switch up a little bit here. We're going to do our birthdays first so he can cue that little graphic up if he'd like. And we would like to uh, welcome uh, our birthday people here on uh, the Noon Mix. And if you would like to be a part of the Noon Mix and be a friend of what we do here and also uh, get your birthday mentioned right here on the show each and every day, we will be glad to feature you. What we do is we uh, take your photo from your Facebook page and slap it up on the screen like this interesting person here. This is Lynn Lott, and today is her birthday. I don't know what she's doing with that person's foot, but uh, you'll have to ask her that. She has a t-shirt on that says, Got Carrots, and Lynn, it, Lynn is a health aficionado, and she will tell you that. So if you know Lynn Lott, wish her a happy birthday. She would very much appreciate it, as we all do. We like to be recognized and appreciated. Each and every day, I more than others. So that's Lynn's birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. And as I said, if you'd like to be a part of our birthday, uh, get together here every day, uh, Monday through Friday, on uh, the new mix. You can go to our Facebook page. Or if you'd like to send a postcard and a photo telling us when your birthday is, you can send that to us at 400 South Sycamore. Harrison, Arkansas, and you can address it to K26 TV, or you can send it to Ma uh, Hometown Television, if you'd like, and we'll be glad to put you up on the day of your birthday. Now, let's go back to our main page here, if I can find it, and talk about, look, first, first no, let's see. Let's do this first. Today in history, here we go. Today in history, this day in history, February the 18th, what happened on this day in uh, February the 18th? And I was told I have buku things that did happen, and my director says, let's, let's cut it down to make it more uh, appropriate and more appetizing for the, for the viewing audience out there so they don't get bored and want to change the channel. So I've, tr I've tried to do that. So I've got a few here that we'll go over. In 1930, Elm Farm Ollie, you remember that name, don't you? Elm, uh, Elm Farm Ollie became the first cow to fly in an airplane. Isn't that great news? Not, mark that down, 1930. Put that on your refrigerator and tell the whole family when they come home tonight from school. Also in 1930, the planet Pluto was, the planet Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh. Uh, the discovery was made as a result of photographs taken in January of 1930, and then they, it took them a month or so to figure out what that little dot in the sky was, which turned out to be Pluto. And then didn't we decide uh, a year or so ago that Pluto was not a planet? So I'm not even sure. 1953, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz signed a contract, now get this, for $8 million to continue the I Love Lucy show from 1953 to 1955. That was big money back in those days, but it was a very popular show. Everyone loved Lucy, hence the name, I Love Lucy. 1987, the executives of the Girl Scout movement decided to change the color of the Scout uniform from the National Girl Scout green color to the newer Girl Scout color of blue. I like the green better, but who knows. 2001, NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt Sr. was killed in a crash during the Daytona 500 race. And speaking of Daytona, if you like Daytona and NASCAR, you can watch the Daytona 500 this coming Sunday on the Fox Sport Network. All right, we talked about birthdays just a few seconds ago, and I probably should have given the national birthdays, but today's birthday, February the 18th, for these people, 1952, Juice Newton was born, also 1954, John Travolta was born, Vanna White was born on 19, in 1957, Matt Dillon, 1964, and Molly Ringwald was born in 1968. And for those people that watch this program on television, if you're out and about and would like to watch this on your cell phone tablet, or if you just would like to watch it on a computer just to see another dimension of what we do on the show, it's the same show, but if you're not in front of a TV and you like to watch it live, you can do so by going to this website, hometowntv.net. And that's what's going on right now. 
when this when you bring up our main page this is what's going on right here and if you want to enlarge the picture you can do it that way I prefer it as small as possible just because I get an eerie feeling looking at myself but the noon mix over here to the left here where they have these two little green buttons if you have a an Apple iPhone you can click that or if you have an Android, you can click there, and, and I'm, what I'm saying click there is if you're using your phone, this will make it full screen for you. So if you want to do that, watch it on your tablet, iPhone, uh, your Android, or your uh, PC desktop or laptop, you can do that. Or you can watch it here on television, however you want to do that. But we come uh, to you every day at noon. You can watch it live on then You can't watch it live uh, on your other devices but you can upload, or you can watch them. We will upload those to YouTube if you prefer, and those will be on our YouTube channel. You can watch those. All right, let's uh, take a real quick break, break, and when we come back, we'll be talking uh, about some events uh, coming up today, tomorrow, and the next day, and on into the weekend. Stick around. You're watching The New Mix. There's going to be a benefit fish fry for Stacy Slevich uh, at uh, and also a silent auction. This is going to be at the Batavia Assembly of God Church in uh, West Harrison in Batavia. It's hosting this fish fry in honor of Stacy Sledwich uh, to help the medical bills and expenses that they have. The event will be held on Saturday, February the 22nd at the church from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, Stacy is the daughter of Kent and Rhonda uh, Selvage in Harrison and she is a graduate of Harrison High School. The menu will be fried fish, coleslaw, beans, des dessert, and a drink. The cost is on a donation basis, so give as much as you possibly can. The auction will be held there on the same premises. If you want more information, you can contact Jack Howard at 870-302-9109. Also, over in Baxter County, the ASUMH is participating in a disaster training drill Along with the Baxter Regional Medical Center, this Thursday, February the 20th, the drill will take place between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Thursday and will be focused on the Goddess Hall. There will be an announcement made over the campus communication system and emergency services will be dispatched on the ASUMS campus. Um, let's see, this is just a drill. They want everybody to remember that and all buildings on the campus will continue business as usual. And that will be this Thursday from, not, uh, from 8 to 10, two hours worth of that. Also at the uh, Baxter County Library, with the uh, Donald W. Reynolds Library in Baxter County, they're having the Friends of the Library invite uh, everyone for their book sale. This is a used book sale, and this will be several days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, February 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Uh, the doors will open at 8.30, and the closing times will be different. Thursday will be 6.30. Friday at 5 and Saturday at 1.30. Different books uh, throughout. You're invited to come out and check those out. Also, February 20th at Baxter County, uh, they're invited to a community char charity challenge. This is a C3 event Thursday, February the 20th from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Dunbar Auditorium. And this is a, 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 an event uh, I'm trying to, let's see, uh, more information if you want to contact uh, for the Chamber of Commerce. It's at 870-425-5111. This is that Community Charity Challenge C3 event. March of Dimes is having their banquet uh, hosted by the FBLA and the OBA, <clears throat> working together for uh, strong, healthy babies. And this is February the 21st at 7 p.m. at the Shed ASU Mac campus. Tickets are $25 each and can be purchased from the Mountain Home Chamber of Commerce, Phi Beta Lambda or uh, member, or you can contact Karen Heslip at 870-508-6185. Also, they have a Teen Friday After Hours at the library. The area teens are invited for Friday nights after hours at the Donald W. Reynolds Library in Baxter County. And uh, this will be Friday this February the 21st from 6 to 10 p.m. Teens will enjoy games, movies, activities, fun, and, and food. All teens in grades 7 through 12 are invited, and there's no charge for this event. You can contact teen librarian John Dyer at 870-580-0703. Also, the Bull Shoals White River State Park, they are having a presentation by Tim Ernst to present 
at the Gast, James A. Gaston Visitor Center. This will be Saturday, February the 22nd at 2.30 p.m. Now, Tim Ernst is a national photographer and author of many books uh, on the Buffalo River and uh, hiking trails in and around the area, also waterfalls, and he'll be there to uh, present uh, his National Geographic Audubon Backpacking Outside Outdoor Photographer, American Hiker, Natural History, uh, and these are all the magazines that featured him, and he's there to promote his uh, Arkansas Wilderness Photographer books on hiking, driving, and crawling around in the wonderful Ozark. So he'll be there talking about those and his experiences photography, uh, photo, photographing these places. Also, a teen culinary workshop uh, uh, is an, uh, will be presented February 22nd at 2 p.m. at the library at uh, the Donald W. Reynolds Library. And there will be different performances throughout that day. One will be on Saturday, March 1st. It will be the Legend of Sleepy Hollow Theater performance. Also, the Cubbert Banjo Parent and Child Craft Workshop, Saturday, March 15th. And these are ongoing. Wednesday, April 2nd, Issues and Viewpoints Book Discussion. Um, also, Saturday, April 5th, the Don Petty Dulcimer Performance will be there. And then also a Murder Mystery Tour, Saturday, April 26th at 1 p.m. For more information about this schedule and upcoming events, you can contact the BaxterLib.org or you can contact Kim Crochainer there at the library at 870-580-0979. Also, at the Baxter County Library, they'll be, gonna ha they'll be having a Lego Day this Sunday and it will be at the um, uh, Lego Day Sunday, February the 23rd, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And the kids can come and build challenging things with Legos. And uh, this will be, again, this Sunday at, I just said, at 1 o'clock, and it'll run till 4. This was at the Donald W. Reynolds Library, 870-580-0979 for more information. And my last one. This is for uh, February the 28th. Donate your prom dresses to the library at the Donald W. Reynolds Library. Is accepting tax-deductible donations of gently used prom dresses, shoes, and accessories in the teen library now through Friday, February the 28th. So that will be next week will be the end date of that. The donations will be uh, up for sale on the second annual prom dress sale at the library March 1st, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. The sale will offer gently used prom dresses, shoes, accessories at bargain prices for this year's prom season. So take part in that. If you want more information about that, you can contact Kim Crochainer again at 870-580-0979. We feature the Baxter County Library all day during this, this uh, segment, so uh, tomorrow we'll do uh, other events to, just to let you know what's going on. So let's take another break. When we come back, we'll tell you about what's happening on our movie channel. In a, in a weird video. We gotta see this. Stick around, you're watching The Noon Mix. And welcome back to The Noon Mix. I'm checking my time here. We have just a short period of time. You know, if I wouldn't ramble on so much, we'd have a lot more time. Let's tell you what's on our movie channel tonight, 26.3. Uh, this TV network, uh, starting off at 7 p.m., one of my favorite uh, actors, Charles Bronson, is there. Isn't that a cool guy? He is absolutely cool. And uh, Charles Bronson, this is, uh, is what made Ford pickup trucks very famous. There's a scene in there where a truck, a Ford truck, flies through the air and uh, uh, they even built commercials around this. See, I'm rambling again about how, how tough Ford trucks were. But anyway, this is a story about uh, Mr. Majestic, and it's a story about Charles Bronson stars in, as an ex-con and Vietnam vet whose efforts to run a straightforward business soon have him locking horns with both the law and the mafia in an explosive tale of backwoods revenge. Very good movie. I highly recommend that one. Uh, and then at 9 o'clock, Audrey Rose stars Anthony Hopkins and Anthony Hop Hopkins and Marsha Mason star in a terrifying story of a man who believes a 12-year-old daughter uh, is actually his reincarnated daughter. That's uh, kind of weird, kind of a strange. I think I saw this movie, and it is a little weird. If you like weird, uh, this is the one for you. Also at 11 o'clock, the movie Gorky Park, which uh, made John Hurt famous. 
one of his movies back in the day, and I'm not sure, I think it was back in the early 80s. Uh, in Moscow, a city of secrecy, these bodies are discovered uh, buried in a snow in uh, Gorky Park, leading to a murder investigation. As chief investigator Renko, who is William Hurt, who entangles, untangles a web of violence and upper level KGB corruption, a wealthy American businessman, a New York cop, and a beautiful woman are also involved. Of course they're involved. It's a murder suspense thrilled mystery, and they're all involved. And it's, uh, you'll, they'll be in, you'll be involved until the very end of the movie. I want to leave you today with a, a weird thing. It's about a UFO. You tell me if this is real or not. Comment on the new mix. Tell us what you think. We'll see you again tomorrow. Para aí, Rafa. Para aí, velho. Não dá para ver. Para aí. Não, tá tremendo muito, cara. Para aí, Rafa. Para aí. Caramba. Now, of course, this is a foreign, it's not a foreign film, but uh, a lot of videos we get are from uh, around the world. And if you just look, they're looking, what they're looking at is that cloud structure right there in the middle of the screen. They're going to zoom up. Look at the bottom uh, edge there. There's something hidden behind the cloud. Can you see it? And it will reveal it. So there it is. Right? But they're in the middle of the thing. Cloud there. And with technology the way it is, this could be fake. It could be um, uh, photoshopped or uh, whatever put in there. But it is a little questionable and I hope we have enough time because uh, the route that this UFO does take off let me see where we're at here let me move this up just a little further there we go it's going to take off so you tell me if that's real or not and if you want to watch this video again it's on our site the new mix on our Facebook page. So check that out. Not sure how much time we have left. We have 10 seconds. We'll see you again tomorrow.